Welcome to NetSet OS. Today in this video we will be discussing about Quick Select. First of all the question arises what is Quick Select? Well Quick Select is about selection so as to find kth smallest element in an unordered list. But as we speak about Quick Select, Quick Select is nowhere related to Quick Sort. Just the partition algorithm we will be using in quick select. In quick sort, we used to recurse for both sides, but in quick select, we need to recurse only to that part which contains our particular element. And rest, quick select is nowhere related to quick sort. Now, if we have to find out second smallest element from array. So we will be taking k is equal to 2 or we can understand as in we have a array which can contain let's say 4, 10, 50, 70, 100. Here I have just 5 elements and if I need to take out second smallest number of course there are many methods through which we can calculate second smallest number. First of all, we can go for sorting the numbers and then I can take out the second smallest number which will be taking order of n log n. Or you can understand in other case, let's say if you're working in big companies like Amazon, if you have to find out the second smallest number where you have larger and larger data, larger number, let's say if you have thousand of datas thousands of crores of data. So that doesn't mean you have to sort crores of data and then you need to take out just the second smallest number. So for that you can go for method 2 which is quick select and here our complexity will be just order of n as it says just to recurse in that part where second smallest number resides. Of course, there are more methods to it. We can go for heap and many more. But here we'll be discussing quick select in detail. So as we were in question, we need to find out second smallest element from the array. Here we'll be using partition where we'll be partitioning the element and we need to find out second index element. We will get a pivot element with the help of this partition, that pivot element we will compare with our second position index. If it is equal to second position, then that element will be our second position element. Otherwise, we will be recursing on right and discard the left element which is not in need and will recurse on right hand side else we will be going for left hand side. Let's understand this with an example. Here we have to find out third smallest element from this array. So the first method as we have discussed first we need to sort. With the help of sorting we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7 and 8. And after that we need to find out the third smallest number. So we'll be searching for third smallest number will be the 3. So this is our method 1. So it's time complexity with the help of sort will be order of n log n. And then we'll be searching for the number for third smallest number. Now we'll be going for quick select so that our time complexity can reduce up to order of n. Let's see how we can do it. So here when I need to find out third smallest number, I'll take a variable k is equal to 3 as I have to find out third smallest element from an unordered list. So the very first thing we need to partition the elements from the array. So for partitioning this algorithm I have discussed in detail in my quick sort video still we'll be checking it out over here. Here for finding out partition element we need to choose one element as pivot. So we can choose any element as pivot and then we can compare. 
so i'll be taking my last element of the array as pi watt then we'll be partitioning the data and then we will find out by comparing our pivot element with third position element if pivot element is smaller than that means our element which we are searching for is on right hand side so we'll be recursing on right hand side and we'll discard the left side and vice versa in else so let's follow these steps so i'll be taking my last element as pi watt so my pi watt is 1 now the second step i need to partition the element so for partition first i need to take i on first element of our array will be our j and i will be one element before since we don't have any element over here so we will keep it as it is and on i and here our pi watt will be 1 so now we'll be applying partition algorithm as we have discussed in detail in quick sort now performing partition algorithm over here first i need to find out whether jth element that is a j if it is a array if jth element is less than our pi watt element i will proceed further by one step and ith element will exchange its element with jth element else if it is greater than we will leave it as it is and j will iterate further so we will compare 1 with 7 7 and here 1 now 7 is greater than 1 so we will leave it as it is and j will iterate further now when i compare 5 with 1 5 is again greater than 1 so we will leave it as it is and j will iterate further now again we will check 4 is greater than 1 yes and j will iterate further then 3 again greater than 1 2 again greater than 1 and 8 is also greater than 1 now at last i plus 1 element will be exchanged with our pi watt i plus 1 is 7 so here we will get 1 and on one position we will get 7 as like this now we need to find out third smallest number so its index is 1 1 is smaller than 3 that means we don't have element over here we need to find our element or search our element in the right hand side so what i'll do i'll ignore this part and will recurse on right hand side so whichever element i am discarding i am putting it with red ink now let's proceed further and again we will apply partition algorithm so here i'll have i and this is j and we will keep our pi watt element as the last element of our array so here i'll have 7 now i'll compare jth element with our pi watt being a part of partition algorithm so when i compare 5 with 7 5 is less than 7 now being i and j are on same element so 5 won't be interchanging with it as both i and j are on same position now for the next iteration 4 is again less than 7 so i will be proceeding further with one step now since i and j are on same position 4 will be as it is now for the next iteration 3 is again less than 7 i will be stepping to i plus 1 and still they are on same position so 3 will be here only now for the next iteration 2 is again less than 7 i will be proceeding further with one step as i and j are on the same position 2 will be here only now for the next iteration here 8 is greater than 7 that means j will be as it is and at last i plus 1 will be interchanging its position with 7 so i plus 1 is here so instead of 8 i'll get 7 and here 8 so pi watt element is at 6 so sixth position is greater than 3 that means the greater side the right hand side we will discard 
and we will be recursing the same on left hand side this is already discarded so here on the left elements will be searching out as like this here the elements with red ink will be discarded and will be partitioning the element for the 5 4 3 2 so what i'll do here i'll have i and here i'll have j and this time pivot element let's keep it the last element which is 2 over here so i need to compare 5 with 2 5 is greater than 2 so j will be as it is so i will be as it is and we'll be checking for the next iteration here 4 is greater than 2 everything will be as it is and we will be checking for the next iteration which is 3 is again greater than 2 so here our iteration holds and i plus 1 which is 5 will be exchanged with this 2 so here i'll get 2 and here 5 now our pivot element was 2 which is placed at second position now we will be comparing 2 with our third smallest so here 2 is smaller than 3 that means we will be discarding this side and we will be recursing on right hand side so now these elements are discarded which are with red ink now again we will be putting partition partition that means the last element here which is 5 that will be acting as pivot and we will be keeping i over here and j on first element for first element 4 will be compared with 5 here 4 is lesser than 5 so i will be stepping one step ahead now for the next iteration we will be comparing 3 with 5 3 is again smaller than 5 i will step ahead since i and j are on the same position 3 will remain as it is and i plus 1 will be interchanged with pivot element so i plus 1 is again 5 only so 5 will be here only now i need to compare 5 with third smallest number so 5 index is greater than 3 that means i need to i need to discard right to it and we'll be getting our smallest the third smallest number on the left hand side so after discarding we got just four and three left now we will partition among four and three so here i have i and this is j and the pivot element will be the last element since we have just four and three so three will be the pivot element now i will compare jth element with my pivot so 4 is greater than 3 so being greater than element j will be as it is and i plus 1 element will be interchanged with pivot so i plus 1 is 4 so here we will have 3 and here 4 and the pivot element is on 3 and we were looking for third smallest element so our third element is equal to 3 so 3 is our third smallest number after 1 and 2 so here i have told for each and every element that's why it has taken so long but if you do it yourself it will be not taking that much time so now let's see python code for quick select so here we have quick select function where we have defined a left right and k left we have defined to be the first element of our array right element will be the last element and kth element which we need to find out so here we are going to take out second smallest element so first of all it will check whether it contains just a single element if left is equal to right that means if we have just one element then there itself it will return the same element 
else it will be taking p index to be right element here i have taken the pivot element to be the last element of our array so as our array will be keep changing within a uh, array that means our left and right will be varied so here i have taken the right element of the array to be p index so whichever element will be there on right it will take it as pivot next it will be going for partitioning where left element right element and p index will be the right element so by this partitioning it will go to the partition function where pivot will be the rightmost element then we will have i and j where i will be before j and for a j element it will be comparing with pivot element if it is less than equal to i will be proceeding with one step and they will be swapping each other then we need to define swap function here we have defined swap function using third variable here we can also use without using third variable so this is by using third variable which is temp then at last i plus 1 will be swapped with p index and here we will get i plus 1 as the returned value so here after recursion this i plus 1 will be stored in p index and here we will have k is equal to p index if it is the same element it will return the same element as we have done for last iteration as we got the third most element equal to kth so this is the same condition else it will be checking out if it is less than then it will be checking in the left else it will be checking in the right so accordingly recursion takes place if you have any problem in the recursion part i have made a complete playlist on recursion for understanding it from very basics so you can go for it if you have any problem in understanding that part now let's run the program so here i have 746391 so if i do k minus 1 let's sort it firstly over here so that we can understand here 1,3,4,6,7,9 and I want second smallest element here I want second smallest element so let's run the program and here we got 3 as second smallest number now if I do 3 I got 4 so this is how quick select works for just finding out kth smallest element here we are not sorting it out for sorting it out it takes order of n log n but if you are performing it with quick select it will be by order of n the best case and if you are going for worst case it will be order of n square as we have seen for quick sort so let's wind up here if you understood this concept, do like my video and please share and subscribe. Thank you.